If you're looking for the best hummingbird fish finder, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Hummingbird Piranha Max 4 Die. The Piranha Max 4 Die is one of the most affordable hummingbird fish finders with down imaging sonar. It doesn't have GPS or other navigation features. It's also one of the oldest hummingbird units available. For reference, this is the fish finder part number 410,161. The unit's sonar is dual beam. This means it can use both standard sonar and down imaging. However, it cannot use them both simultaneously. It doesn't have a split screen application. It supports two frequencies, these being 200 khc and 455 khc. The unit comes with the XNT9 DITE transducer which is equipped with a transom mount and has an internal temperature sensor. This transducer uses two conical beams for the standard sonar. Their coverage is 28 daggett 200 khc and 16 daggett 455 khc. For the down imaging sonar, it can use only one oval beam at 455 khc with a coverage of 75 deck. The maximum depth ranges of this fish finder with the included transducer are 604, 183m for the standard sonar, and 324, 97m for down imaging. The Humminbird Piranha Max 4 die doesn't have all the standard sonar applications that the Helix units offer. For example, it lacks a scope, sonar recording, and the circular flasher functions. However, it still has the selective fish ID feature, bottom view, fish alarm, depth alarm, and more. Moving on to the next and number two with Humminbird Piranha Max 4. The Piranha Max 4 is one of the most basic fish finders from Humminbird at the moment. The unit has the same specs as the Piranha Max 4 die that we've already covered here, but lacks the down imaging sonar. For reference, this is the Humminbird part number 410,151. The unit features a 4.3 LCD display with a 256 color range and a pixel matrix of 480VX272H. It also has built an LED backlight for improved readability in direct sunlight. It is IP7 waterproof and comes with a tilt and swivel mount. Evidently, since it's a basic unit, it does not have networking features. It also does not have any navigation features and does not support charts. The unit's sonar is dual beam. This means it supports two frequencies, but it can only use one at a time. It also lacks the split screen feature. It runs on two frequencies, these being 200 khc and 455 khc, and the transducer that comes with it supports them both. The number three position is held by Humminbird Helix 5 Sonar G2. The Helix 5 Sonar G2 is the most basic 5-inch Humminbird fish finder available at the moment. It does not have navigation features such as GPS or charts. It also lacks the auto chart live feature. But on the other hand, it is also one of the most affordable 5-inch Helix units. For reference, this is the part number 410,191. The unit is equipped with the standard dual beam plus sonar. It supports two frequencies, 200 khc and 83 khc. It does not support 50 khc, nor it supports down imaging or side imaging. It also does not have chirp sonar technology like the more expensive Helix units. The unit includes the XNT920T transducer which has a transom mount, an internal temperature probe, and 24. 6M of cable. This transducer uses two conical sonar beams with a coverage of 6 to get 83 khc and 20 to get 200 khc. Its maximum depth ranges 1500 Ford. 457M when using the 83 khc beam. The unit offers several standard sonar features. The list includes switch fire, fish ID plus, vertical flasher, circular flasher, fish alarm, depth alarm, white line, bottom lock, and more. However, it is important to mention that it does not have sonar recording and sonar rewind functions. Next at number four, we have Humminbird Helix 5 Chirp GPS G2. Similar to the Piranha Max units, the Helix 5 Chirp GPS G2 is one of the older units released in 2016. However, it is still available in 2021 and is one of the Humminbird fish finders under $300.
The unit features a 5-inch WVGA display with a pixel resolution of 800HX 480V and LED backlight. It does not have multi-touch technology, only the side keypad. Although it does not have Ethernet or wireless connectivity, it does have NME 180, re so it supports external GPS and AIS. The Helix 5 Chirp GPS G2 has dual beam plus standard chirp sonar. This means it can use two frequencies simultaneously. It supports three main frequencies, these being 50-83-200KHZ. It does not support down imaging or side imaging. The unit includes the standard XNT920T transducer which uses the 83KHZ and 200KHZ frequencies. The chirp ranges are 75-95KHZ and 175-225KHZ. The transducer beams are both conical. Their coverage is 20-titic for the Chirp 200K HC beam and 6-titic for the 83K HC beam. The maximum depth range of this transducer is 1,500 Ford, 457M. The number 5 position is held by Humminbird Helix 5 Chirp Die GPS G2 Navionics Plus. Similar to the other G2 units, the Helix 5 Chirp Die GPS G2 Navionics Plus is one of the older fish finders from Humminbird, but still available in 2021. For reference, this is the Humminbird part number 410,221 NAV. The unit supports multiple sonar frequencies, including 50-83-200K HC for its standard chirp sonar and 455-800K HC for down imaging. It comes with the xnt 9 dit transducer which works with the 200-455K HC frequencies for the standard chirp sonar and 455-800K HC for die. The transducer beams have a conical shape for the 2D sonar, with a coverage of 16 deg at 455K HC and 25 deg at 200K HC, while for down imaging or thin and oval, with a coverage of 75 deg at 455K HC and 45 deg at 800K HC. The maximum depth range that can be achieved with this transducer is 600 Ford. 183M. 100M. 108. As the title suggests, the unit has navigation features such as internal GPS and the Navionics Plus charts. Its GPS receiver operates at 10 HC for position updated 10 times per second. The included Navionics Plus charts cover U.S. and Canada waters. These are one Ford. HD bathymetry charts that offer coverage for more than 21,000 lakes and water bodies in North America, nautical chart guides, sonar chart HD bathymetry mapping, and free community edits for a full year. However, the unit is also preloaded with the Humminbird base maps which cover more than 10,000 U.S. lakes with one foot depth, contours, and also cover the coastal waters. They show depth markers, buoys, marinas, hazards, camping grounds, nav aids, various points of interest, and more. The number 6 position is dominated by Humminbird Helix 5 Chirp C GPS G2. The Helix 5 Chirp C GPS G2 is one of the most affordable fish finders with side imaging. It's a 5-inch display unit featuring a color display with a pixel resolution of 800HX 480V LED backlight. Since it's one of the older and smaller Humminbird units, it doesn't have touchscreen technology. It also doesn't have wireless connectivity and Ethernet, but does support NME 183. The unit has three types of sonar, these being dual beam plus, down imaging, and side imaging. It supports four main frequencies, these being 50-83-200-455KHC. The unit comes with the XNT9C180T Classic Side Imaging Transducer. This has a transom mount, 24, 6M of cable, and an internal temperature sensor. For dual beam plus, the transducer uses two conical beams at 7595KHC slash 175255KHC, with a coverage of 6-titic and 20-titic. The maximum depth range for the standard chirp sonar is 1500 Ford, 457M. For side imaging and down imaging, the transducer only uses the 455KHC channel featuring thin oval beams. For side imaging, the side beams can extend up to 244, 73 m each. For down imaging, the maximum depth range is approx. 354, 106 m, 100 s m, 100 m.
Moving on to the next at number 7 with Humminbird Helix 7 Chirp Mega Die GPS G3 Nav Ionics Plus. The Helix 7 Chirp Mega Die GPS G3 Nav Plus is one of the fish finders released by Humminbird at the end of 2018, but it is still available in 2021. It's also a chart plotter and comes with the Nav Ionics Plus micro SD card. For reference, this is the Humminbird part number 410,941 NAV. The unit has two built-in sonar technologies, these being dual-spectrum chirp sonar and down imaging. And as the unit's name suggests, it has the mega mode for the down imaging sonar. The transducer included with the unit is the XNT9HWMDI75T. This transducer integrates a temperature sensor and comes with a transom mount. For down imaging, the transducer uses two oval beams with a coverage of 75 deg at 440-500k HC and 45 deg for the Mega Die mode at 1075-1150k HC. The maximum depth range for the down imaging sonar that can be reached with this transducer is 354-106M for dual spectrum chirp. The transducer covers the three sonar modes supported by the unit. These are narrow, wide, and full. The narrow beam is 25 deg while the wide beam is 42 dick. The full beam is variable. The maximum depth range that can be achieved with this transducer when using the standard sonar is 1204. 365 M. The number eight position is held by Humminbird, Helix 7 Chirp Mega C GPS G3 Nav Ionics Plus. Another unit on our list of best Humminbird fish finders for 2021 is the Helix 7 Chirp Mega C GPS G3 Nav Ionics Plus. As its name suggests, this unit is also a chart plotter and includes a Navionics Plus micro SD card. These charts cover more than 21,000 U, S, water bodies and lakes, superior detail, and the sonar chart feature for bathymetric mapping. However, the unit also has its own Humminbird base map built in it, which provide decent coverage as well. For more than 10,000 U, S, lakes and coastal waters, it supports Lake Master and Smart Strike fishing charts. It is also auto chart live enabled. This application gives you the possibility to map your own lake and create your own custom fishing maps with the most up-to-date contours. The unit makes available three sonar technologies. These are dual-spectrum chirp, down imaging, and side imaging. As its name suggests, it has mega modes for the sea and dice sonar. It comes with the XNT9HWMSI150T transducer which supports all three sonar technologies provided by the unit. This transducer is equipped with a transom mount an internal temperature sensor, and has 24. 6M of cable. Next at number 9, we have Humminbird Helix 7 Chirp Mega C GPS G3N. Although the G4N series of Humminbird fish finders was already released, the G3N models are still available. So is the Helix 7 Chirp Mega C GPS G3N. Like all other G3N units, this particular model offers superior connectivity features. For example, it has Ethernet. And Me 2000 and Bluetooth. It is also compatible with the Fish Smart app so you can sync your unit with your smartphone and download updates, maps, and benefit from many other features. In terms of sonar, the unit has dual spectrum chirp, down imaging, and side imaging. As its name suggests, it has the mega modes for C and die. It comes with the XNT9HWMSI150T transducer, which supports all these three sonar technologies. For the standard chipper sonar, the transducer uses conical beams. Their coverage is 42 dig in wide mode and 25 dig in narrow mode. While the maximum depth capability that can be achieved by the 2D sonar with this transducer is 1200 Ford. 365 M. For down imaging, the beams are oval, not conical. Their depth capabilities are 125 Ford. 38 M at 455 KHC and 75 Ford. 22 M in mega die mode. For side imaging, the beams are also oval. Their side range is 244, 73M for regular C, and 125 Ford, 38M for the Mega C mode. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Humminbird Helix 9 Chirp GPS G4 and the Humminbird Helix G4 and series was released at the end of 2020. So the units of this series are rather new to say whether they're better than the older G3 and series. However, the Helix 9 Chirp GPS G4 and already has quite a few 5-star reviews from users, so we've selected it for our list of 10 best Humminbird fish finders for 2021. This unit does not have down imaging and side imaging, 
only dual spectrum chirp sonar. It supports three main frequencies, these being 50 slash 80 slash 200k HC. It comes with the XNT9 HWT transducer, which is basically a transducer for high chirp only. It supports the narrow, wide, and full modes provided by the unit. Its sonar beams are conical, with a coverage of 25 dig in narrow mode and 42 dig in wide mode. Also, the maximum depth range that can be achieved with this transducer is 1200 Ford. 365 M. The unit is also a chart plotter. It has a 10 HC internal GPS receiver, which means it can provide position updates 10 times per second. It can store 47 routes, 2,750 waypoints, and 50 tracks in its memory. It also has a GPS speed function and supports WAS, MSAS, and EGNOS for position enhancement. That's all for today. We upload fishing product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.